Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So this is just a short little video that I made on how I converted my pickup truck's fuel system from in-tank fuel pump to a mechanical fuel pump. So this is a 1991 B2200 automatic extended cab. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little conversion video that hopefully it may help somebody out there and needing this same type of information. Enjoy. Okay, so the first thing I did to get ready for the job, I did it yesterday, was I disconnected it here from the fuel gauge and I ran some additional fuel line like I have here. And what I did was I just ran it from here all the way outside the car into a six gallon fuel tank that I had and I ran it, I ran the pump till it just didn't let out any more fuel. It was just barely dribbling out. But there was an issue when I went inside to check the gauge, and I'll show you that. All right, as you can hear, the pump is running. And if you look at the fuel gauge, I'm still showing just under a quarter tank of gas so to me that's an issue I don't know if it's a fuel gauge issue or whether there's something wrong inside the tank as far as that's all the fuel that it was able to pump out so that's one thing that I'm going to be looking into once I get the uh, fuel tank removed and out all right so I'm all set up to uh, begin the process of removing the fuel tank I got the right side axle on a jack stand and I have my trusty little transmission jack. There's the tank itself and I have to remove the fuel inline here for the tank where you put in the gas. But uh, I won't be documenting the removal of the tank because there's plenty on YouTube showing that process. So. My main concern is what I'm gonna do inside the fuel tank once I get it out. So I'll get back to you once the tank is out. Okay, so let's take a look inside the tank and see how clean it is. Looks good to me. Okay, so I wanted to highlight something real quick. I already have the fuel pump removed. I'm going to be installing a pickup tube here with its own mesh screen. I'm waiting for it to arrive. But in the meantime, I wanted to highlight this, the connector. Since I'm not going to be using the electric fuel pump inside the tank, I have to get rid of the power. I don't want the power inside. So this wire here, which is the black and white, is your power wire. Those are your pins inside, there's three. So I dislodged the pin and I'm removing it. So now there's no more power going inside since there is no pump. But what I did was I made this little contraption out of a connector so you get a better picture of it put a wire in it, crimped it, cut it off but this fits perfect 
in here to plug up that hole since it's not going to be used and I don't want any critters deciding they want to make a home. And there you go. That's all there is to that. I'm going to be covering this, so not an issue. But I just don't want any power going in here since it's unnecessary. You got your ground here, and this is for your fuel level sensor. So you want to make sure you have that connected. Okay, so while I don't have the tank in, here I'm under the car. I wanted to show this real quick before I start assembling everything and then not, not being able to show what I need to show here. But here is your fuel line going forward. This line crosses over to another line, which has already been removed because I got rid of all the lines that were attaching to the original fuel pump, all that stuff that was here, fil filter and the, uh, I forget what that valve is called, I think it's when you flip over, it's a check valve to keep fuel from flowing out. I got rid of all that. Um, here goes your electrical connector, and this is your fuel return line. So these are the, your two main lines that you need for this mod to just convert it over to uh, just a normal fuel pickup setup. Okay, so my fuel pump finally came in from Mazda. Here it is right here. And I saved the filter from behind the tank and I moved it up front. The electric setup that I got here that I was running before, I'm gonna keep it here as a backup in case that pump ever decides to fail when I'm on the road. Um, I kept the fuel gauge mounted to the inlet of the car that way that will give me a reading of if that pump ever was to fail if I wasn't getting any pressure um, this this has always been a concern with me on this truck I do a lot of long distance driving transporting in my kayaks to go fishing and the last thing I want is to have a fuel problem because the pump was inside the tank that's not an easy fix you can do off the side of the road so this is why I had to convert over to a mechanical fuel pump. And of course, that fuel pump did fail on me, but luckily it failed at home. So I'm gonna go ahead and get in the truck and start it up, and then you guys can see how it's gonna do. Pressure is good, just at four and a half. This filter is full, burning like a kitten. By the way, during the install, what I noticed, this is the plate that was on there. It's sitting on top of that like this. And luckily for me, it already had the spacer for the mechanical fuel pump installed. So I didn't have to use the one that I bought. But she's fixed. All is good. Thanks for watching, guys.